Hey guys, it's Alyssa here and today I shall be starting another reading vlog. Today is April 6th, I believe. I can't get over the fact that I got a new phone and it's so much nicer to film on. I'm like, all right, it's currently Monday and I thought, let's start a reading vlog. I don't want to tell you how many reading vlogs I've started that I've never finished. It's a, 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 a problem. I'm really hoping that I follow through with this one. I really want to. If you hear weird noises, my parents are extremely loud. And you know, it's official quarantine time for all of us. We're all home together. And um, that's all I have to say about that. Let me tell you about the two books that I'm in the middle of right now. The first one is the one classic that I picked for this month, which is A Room with a View by E.M. Forster. I am 34 pages into this and I'm really enjoying it, honestly. I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about it, but I'm kind of digging it, I'm kind of liking it. It's kind of good. Surprisingly, it's not hard to follow in physical format, but this edition is quite literally falling apart so I think I'm gonna read it on my kindle through Libby and then if I want to put down any quotes put it in this so that way like I have the quotes written down and then you know because this this edition quite literally um yeah it's falling apart and then I'm also 21% of the way into a turn of the key the turn of the key I forget exactly what it's called by Ruth Ware. I am so sorry if you keep hearing them laugh. They are really fun and something funny right now. Really good so far and I don't know what it is but the narrator that always narrates all of Ruth Ware's books, Imogen Church, she is a, a, a something. She is magical. This woman is such a good narrator. I think the best one I've ever listened to. She is so good. I think I'm gonna listen to that and do a little bit of cross stitching. I'm trying to make a cat and I don't have anything better to do. And I'm like, well, it's kind of already the sixth of the month and I haven't finished a book yet. And I would like to get more into a book. And the most motivating way I can think of right now is to cross stitch because before I know it, I finish another two hours of an audiobook and uh, I've been doing this for like an hour. I don't know if it's gonna end up looking even at all because the count doesn't make any sense. I don't know, but I'm just gonna go with it. And then if I have to take out some parts, then I have to take out some parts. This is like the only, this is the first one that I'm doing like on my own, not with the assistance of a friend. And the friend who taught me, um, taught me before we went into quarantine. So <laughs> yeah, that's all I got for tonight. That's it. Welcome to this vlog. I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you tomorrow and hopefully I'll get a good chunk of reading done tonight and then I'll have something to tell you about tomorrow. Hello, good evening. It is currently Tuesday at like eight something. My room's a mess. It's just how it be right now. I wanted to do this update while I still had my hair did and my makeup on because as I talked about before, I don't do clips like that enough. And I really went all out with my makeup today. Today was a good day, day whatever in quarantine. I don't know where we're at at this point. It's just, it's just, it's something. I started to feel like my maybe twice a year loneliness that I get. And I haven't experienced it in a long time because like I've been like having friends now and um, it's different but I feel lonely because I haven't seen anybody in so long. So um, I'm sad. I just did like a shot over FaceTime with people. I don't know. I guess that's what quarantine makes you do. I don't know. I have read more in The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. I don't know how far into it I am though, to be honest. I'm gonna stop this clip, go check, and then I'll come back. I just went and checked and I'm 42% into it. So I made pretty good progress. I was only at 20% yesterday, I'm at 42 today. Did more cross stitching and I fixed what almost was a disaster. And look, we almost have a little kitty ear. So cute. It's like 8.30 now probably. I think what it is is that like, I'm missing social interaction so much where like the way my anxiety and depression work, I guess, is 
the less I do, the worse it gets. So like, whereas like everybody right now is like struggling a lot mentally and like having a really rough time, um, what's gonna happen is the second life resumes again, where we're allowed to go outside and see people and all that stuff, um, my mental health is gonna tank really, really, really bad because all of the socializing that I was used to doing and just my brain formulating how to work that is going to have to readjust to that again. Um, a prime example was when I broke my wrist and I started going out again and like seeing people. Mental health tanked um, and it was really hard and it wasn't as hard as it was to get used to socializing and interacting with people on a regular basis but it was still a struggle and I still had a lot of issues and I feel like it's definitely going to be the case I just know me and my mental health decently enough to know that's what's going to happen. Kind of what I'm struggling with right now is like not thinking about that and not focusing on that and just trying to be as in the moment as I can. I'm not going to keep rambling on or anything like that but just it's been a weird time as it has been for everybody. So I wanted to show you me looking cute and like a whole whole being and just my hair curled and just looking nice because you know this is the nicest I've looked in a while. I'm gonna go and I will see you tomorrow. Good evening. It is now Wednesday night. It's like 9 30. I didn't realize that I needed to do an update and I like forgot. Today was a full day. I had to go food shopping, which is a nightmare. It's like one extreme or the other. It's like people are like terrified to be there and you can tell it and like you just like feed off of their anxiety and their fear or people just don't care and just are all up in your business. And like newsflash, but unless you are got that shmoney and can afford to food shop at one place, um, we have always gone to three to four stores to do all of our food shopping and normally we don't do it all at once. We do it like throughout the week, like we pick up this, we pick up that. And to have to do this big adjustment, um, is a lot and it's expensive and I also don't think people understand that um, going to the grocery store once a week is expensive and depending on who you are and your financial situation and all that jazz you could very well not be in a position to do that to be able to get groceries to last you a full week let alone go to one store to do that. We are luckily right now in a position financially, I don't know how long it will continue, but we're in a position where we can go food shopping once a week and that's great, but I don't know if that'll keep happening. I don't know. The only two people who work in my household, um, the other two of us are disabled, are no longer working. So yeah. Which I don't know what it's gonna turn into. That's just the current state of things. So having to go out and do all of that. Also, New Jersey today just put into law that you now have to wear a mask if you go, I guess, to the grocery store or a store or anywhere period where you're around people. Frustrating and scary for everybody. That's why I'm saying what I'm saying. It's a crazy time to be living right now. I did do some more listening to my audiobook. It wasn't a lot because by the time I got home and I had dinner, I started watching The Circle, which I'm like almost finished and is really, really good. And really enjoying it. Like, hello? That I, I'm really, I think I've only had like two or three episodes left probably. It's getting good and it's such an interesting reality show. I finished more of my cross stitch. I actually got a lot more done. Right now, my cat's kind of looking a little bit like a wolf. <laughs> Hopefully she gets better. These are just the things that happened today. We love COVID-19. It's really, she's really out here uh, causing us stress. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know how you're hanging in there. I hope you're all right. I hope you're okay mentally. I'm, I'm okay. Like I said, I'm complaining about these things, but like I'm okay. I've, I've been much worse in my life. 
I'm just a little lonely because I miss my friends. Um, I miss my friends. I miss my family. I just like I'm missing everybody in my life right now that I love a lot and I want to see and I want to spend time with and I just want to hug and be around and I can't and that makes me sad. So let me know how you're doing. I hope you're doing okay. And if you're not, let me know. I'm here to give you some, some support down below. Hello. So it is now nine o'clock on Thursday and I finished a book and I did more cross stitch. So I'm going to show you how far I got with that. This is just going to be me daily updating you on my cross stitch and what books I finished. Works for me. I'm already in my pajama shirt because it's nine o'clock and that's how it be. You already saw me looking good once this week. And we in quarantine, so that's as good as it might get. Today, I ended up finishing The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. And I gave it a five out of five stars. And I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't expect to rate it that high. Didn't expect to like her as much as I did. I have read every Ruth Ware book that's been out, except for The Death of Mrs. Westaway. And I rated them four out of five stars. I enjoy Ruth Ware. I especially enjoy her audiobooks. I think that's where her books shine through. And they are books that I don't forget, that I really enjoyed, that honestly I might even go back and reread. I think she's a good author and I think she's continued to get better and better. This book blew me away. When I say it blew me away, like completely blew me out of the water. I was not expecting to be as shocked as I was. The ending actually made me super, super emotional. And I just loved having an unreliable narrator. And I haven't really read many books like that, I think, but this was so good. And like, at first I was like, is this really gonna be as good as everybody's saying that it is? Like, is, is Ruth Ware really getting good? Like is Ruth Ware really getting better with each book? And she is. Sis is popping off. It wasn't until I was, I think like 70% of the way in to realize like, wow, this whole plot took, like this whole book took place over such a short period of time, which is insane. Like a lot of times, sometimes with thrillers, I'm like, okay, a lot of time has passed, but like this, book this and lock every door were such a short period of time and that's such a cool concept that like i'm invested in like these 400 page books that are happening in like two days it was amazing wonderful highly recommend this is by far ruth ware's best book it is her most shocking book by far if you've read ruth ware in the past and you're like eh, i found her kind of predictable I understand that. I enjoy her books, but I can understand that critique completely. You will, I'm pretty sure, be shocked by this one. Um, even if you guess certain things, I think there are a lot of other elements that go into it, where even if you guessed the plot, there's a twist at the end that just like was a knife in my back and just like really just, mm, it was so good. That's my first book finished for the month. I'm still in the middle of room with a view so I would like to finish that maybe by the end of this week or just really sometime this month um I also have Macbeth on my TBR because that's another classic I'm trying to read this month I filmed my reading brush TBR video today that's probably gonna go up this week maybe next week I don't know what I'm gonna like read next I have a couple things checked out through Libby I have the collected schizophrenias that I'm really interested in reading um, I've heard really good things about it. I have The Silent Patient, which I've also heard amazing things about and I'm a little excited to get to. I also started Amanda Lovelace's newest poetry collection. Cover will be here. I don't know how I'm enjoying it yet. I don't know. I'm just like, I started it, I haven't finished it yet. That's, that's kind of it for right now. I don't consider myself to be actively like in the middle of a book I'm obsessed with. I'm more leisurely reading a couple things, so tomorrow I'll pick which book is at the front of my focus. Um, but let me show you how much progress I made on my cross stitch. I think I made a lot of progress. You can kind of tell it's starting to look like a kitty cat. Look, I did all the eyes and the ears, and it's starting to look like a cat. It still kind of looks like a wolf a little bit with the eyes, but once we fill in the eyes and stuff like that, it'll start really looking like a cat. And I finished watching The Circle today. 
phenomenal show. So entertaining. So entertaining. So interesting. Love it. I'm going to stop blabbering <laughs> and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. And hopefully I'll have read more. Good evening. It is currently Friday night and again, nine o'clock. But I think I look a little bit better. I decided to treat myself and do a face mask, which I haven't done in literally so long. And I don't know why, because I do that like that clay like that aztec clay one and it does wonders for me i did do a decent amount of reading today i started the silent patient by alex michaelides michaelides i think that's maybe how you say it i got 27 percent of the way through which is pretty great if i say so myself so far it's interesting i'm interested to see how it ends because it's not the most enjoyable book, if I'm being honest. It's like not fantastic so far. If it wasn't, I think, so fast, I think it's like only eight and a half hours long. If it wasn't like such a shortish one, I don't know if I would be into it, to be honest. Who I'm liking and disliking isn't what I pictured in my mind like you know how, like sometimes you like go into a book thinking you're gonna like certain characters or like feel a certain way and like that's not the case at all it's very very interesting curious to see how mental health is handled in this book and not just like a okay obviously it's not gonna be handled well because it's like a psychotherapist going to a place with a bunch of criminals so it's like He's like a criminal psychotherapist, so it's like, but I don't know. I just, I'm very hesitant to see how it ends up. I'm interested to see how it ends, and I'm interested to see if the hype lives up. Because it was like rated one of like Goodreads' top books of last year. And I'm just curious to see where I land. I heard the key and the silent patient so far are switched. I thought I would like the silent patient more than I'm liking it and it was like switched roles reversed so that's it for tonight i'm probably not going to listen to any more i haven't done any more cross stitching i just kind of like fart around my phone while i listened to it today did get out of the house today i went for a drive to the beach not really the beach we didn't actually go to the beach we just like kind of went to the town near the beach and it was nice it was nice to like be out of the house for a couple hours so that's my day <laughs> super thrilling and exciting. I'd love to finish Silent Patient before the weekend before I end off this vlog and maybe something else? Maybe? Maybe? I'm gonna go. <laughs> and uh, if you see wispies it's because I cut these weird bangs and it's a look. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good afternoon. It is now Saturday before night time. Here I am, it's currently like 1 p.m. I am so bone tired that I could cry. <laughs> I have been up since 6.30 this morning. I have no idea why. There's no explanation. I just woke up and I've been awake since then. But I completed my audiobook of The Silent Patient. I have not finished a book this quickly. I don't know how long. I started it yesterday and I finished it this morning. Like, I finished it, like, within 24 hours, which is kind of insane. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. <laughs> I did not expect to give this 5 out of 5 stars. If you had, like, looked at what I had said yesterday to today, you're probably like, oh, okay, she probably isn't going to rate it 5 stars, maybe 4. The ending really did shock me. I saw a lot of reviews of people saying how they weren't shocked, and I had kind of formulated my own guess which was part of the plot, but then like the plot took a twist that I wasn't expecting. I think the thing I enjoyed the most was never knowing who was the good person or the bad person. And, like trying desperately to figure out like who has whose best interest. I thought it was good. I thought it was really good. Like I thought it was great. I thought it was like phenomenal and definitely like the ending very much was similar to the turn of the key like i felt like if you liked the turn of the key you'd probably like this 
because they both have unreliable narrators. And I'm not gonna say anything, but now my rants, like small rant yesterday that I made about like the mental health representation in this book, it now makes sense why it wasn't good. There is mention of sexual assault, I believe and also mm, several mentions of self-harm. It's not like from a first person perspective, like you're not in somebody's mind with it, because I know that makes a huge difference for me. You hear about it and it's like described like physically um, about it. So just forewarned. Highly recommended, I thought it was really good. Here I was thinking, I was like, you know, it's like April and I just feel like I haven't read any rock star like blow me out of the water books this year and I did two back to back. I'm sorry that angle was so bad. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. It's now one o'clock. I've been waiting for one o'clock to happen so that way I can happily drink my second cup of coffee because it's a two cup kind of day. I don't know what I'm gonna read next. I don't know. I oh I did start I did start reading um not as an audiobook the collected schizophrenias which is a very interesting read so far, but it's definitely nonfiction. I wanna say textbook, cause I don't read textbooks, but like it reads much more like informational than anything else. Like there isn't really a lot of storytelling going on, which I didn't expect, I'm just saying. So I have to be like in a particular mood to read it. I'm hoping I can read it before I have to return it. But I guess I'll just pick my next read and let you know what happens, but I'm pretty happy that I've read two new really good books and I'm just really happy with that. Wow, I wish I had started off the clip with these in my hair. It looks so much better now. Oh well, that's it for now. I'm gonna go and stop rambling. I'll talk to you later. Good evening. So it is now Sunday night. It's like 8, 8.30 and I'm gonna close off this vlog now even though technically I started it on Monday um I don't want it to be too long of a vlog and I'm not in the middle of anything so like we're just gonna end it here I had a really good reading week and I'm hoping we can keep that energy going into next week I hope you guys enjoyed it uh let me know if you have any thoughts about anything that I talked about in this vlog uh let me know what you thought if you have any thoughts on any of the books that i read i would love to know and that's all i got so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope i shall see you in the next one <laughs> bye